Now if you use this board and you want the bass effect to come out separately on, of your guitar, then it's on the last pin here, pin 16, which is this one here. And you can simply solder uh, a wire to this point and wire it to wherever you want, uh, put another uh, check output or uh, put it on the ring of the one you have or you can put it <coughs> onto the pin 7 of the uh, 13 pin Roland output. Uh, this is another chapter on the other side, but now on this side uh, if you don't want to solder the, the wire here because everything is plugged, you probably prefer to keep it plugging. Then you can cut one pair of this connector and solder it in here. So this turns into a 16 pin. Or you can start from one of those boards and use as a 16 pin or as I sometimes use two of the 8 pins as well whatever and now this pin here is the, is the one we want is the, the, the base effect output and the other one you add is the 7th string which here doesn't make sense but if you use this one you can use this pin to bring your magnetic picker or whatever it is to a separate output similarly. Okay, now usually you would connect here the, the flat cable which is in the in the guitar already and which has only 14 pins or 14 wires. So we make a new one which has 16. I usually buy them in 20 or even larger and then just cut or tear apart the number of wires which I really need and now I suppose you cut the, at the right length I'm only demonstrating so I make it short here and um, you get one of these header connectors and you watch out for pin 1 which is this little triangle here and the red wire goes where the triangle is it could also be inserted in this way doesn't matter well in the, our case it does matter because here it has a tooth and so it doesn't enter wrong it only enters with the tooth upward and then um, being so you probably want the wire to come out on this side, right? Mm. So, it's inserted here. No, the other way. <laughs> here is the red wire where the triangle is. And pressed a little bit. Press a little bit more. And then close the clip clip. Doesn't hmm. do the clip on the other side. But it's well closed both sides. So now we have pin 16 here. This is our new wire with the polybase output, and this is the one with the seventh string, which we're not going to use at this moment. And these are the 14 we had before. So now pin 14. In uh, the Godin guitar in, in, or the poly drive connector, it, it um, carries the switch for the battery. 
which is the ring of the stereo jack connector. So, for example, if you want to put it, you, your polybase output signal onto the ring, that will be this wire. So, you can leave this out. And you can put this one in here. And press the 14 pin connector with that little triangle for one. And considering the right side of it. Now it's a bit more tricky because you have this separate wire here which should also go into the right spot. But the, the connector helps a bit because it has a form that conducts the wires. And you can close this again, the same manner you did it before, with the, the, on this side with the 16. And now here is the wire that needs to go to ground if you want to power on. Because before this was on the ring, this was leading to the ring of the stereo connector, and when you plug something into it, then uh, it makes a short circuit there, so that's how you power it on. And now you want to power on this one, so you need to put a separate switch, which grounds this wire. <laughs> 